I think we I think we are live. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Looks like. Hello from my kitchen, all lunches people and test kickers and everyone. Um, hey, we are. Um, I am and, from my bedroom office. <laughs> oh, nice. That looks nice. This is my office for last three weeks. <laughs> I think it's going to be your office for the next two months. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, yeah. Well, sadly enough, yes, it's going to be for a while. Yeah, yeah nothing to do. Yeah. All yeah, right, guys. Right. Kevin, we are live on Facebook group uh, of Launches Facebook page, also on TS Kickers, and also we are live on YouTube, Twitter, and Periscope. So tonight we are going to <laughs> tonight we are going to talk about coronavirus, like everyone else, to be honest, and impacts on dropshipping business. I have no idea about dropshipping business, as you all know. I'm a POD guy, and but we have really good and knowledgeable guests, which called Mr. Sir Kevin from Scotland here. And we might have a surprise uh, guest as well very, very, very soon. Isn't it, Kevin? Yeah, we may have another guest. Um, just to let you know, so I am Kevin, and I, uh, if you don't know yet, I am <laughs> the co-owner of Drop Hippo. All right. Okay, Kevin, before I start, I'm 100% yeah. sure most of people they know who is uh drop hippo but can you please repeat and remind our followers and uh, who is watching us li- live now and um, who is drop hippo sorry who is drop hippo tell us so drop hippo is a um, shopify application um, but it's actually a lot more than that. So what we do is we source products from China and the USA. Um, we'll, we have them in the app. So what we basically do is we automate your drop shipping business. So let me just give you a small example. So yes, if you come to me, and you have a product that you want to sell, we will price that product for you. We'll give you the option to either ship from China or we give you the option to (coughs) ship it to USA or it may even be in stock in the USA and from there we will ship out from um, USA Fulfillment Warehouse um, which gives you a two to six day delivery time in the USA. That's that's wonderful. But the, the other uh, good thing about it, the, the, sorry, carry on. Oh, hold on, hold on. We have a person who is waiting to be live. There we go. <laughs> oh, it's the bearded fellow. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Do you know uh, do, do you know this this guy? Hands up if you know who this person is. Of the coronavirus. The drop hippo you virus. Said, Welcome to the live. Great t shirt virus. I'm trying. Oh, oh wait. So I saw that you shared it on, on Antasticus in on launches, on Facebook, on YouTube, on where the fuck? Twitter, Twitter and what's Periscope. What's going on with you? Twitter and Periscope. I think you forgot to share it in my bathroom as well. What the fuck? <laughs> hey. <laughs> mean, I'm sure we'll see you going to the bathroom at some point. Yeah, probably. I'll take you with me. I don't want to see, hey, I don't want to see him in the bathroom. Anyway, brother. I'll take you with me. Well, why do you see... Let's see. What? Why do we see Facebook user, Facebook user, what the fuck, why? <laughs> That's bad. Because they've, they've not logged in uh, as their user on StreamYard, so we only see yeah. Facebook user. What? Last time I used StreamYard, two days ago, was beautiful, smooth. Everyone, I could yeah, see it's a beautiful software. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fantastic. No, but yeah, why? Why did it happen? Me. Did it happen to me? Probably because you're sharing it everywhere. So. <laughs> yeah, it could be. It could be. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, probably when you and use like reason, a multi channel, this happens because uh, the, the reason it's happening, they have a. I mean, user needs to log into the a page or something like that. If we want them, if we want, if they want to see our our name or their name, for example. Abdo, which you can see his comment now, we can see his name. It means that he logged in with Facebook to the StreamYard before, so we can see. But some Same. people, we cannot see their name. What I do while I'm talking to you guys, I go to the Facebook and check who is writing who. Well, you can. You can be a million, million places, so I can never tell where. <laughs> so we got our first question in so guys i oh, have a question go, about payment model. do you have something some information about it thanks so much in advance let me just check on hmm. this what is payment for i'll be honest with you i have no idea while i'm talking so with you guys, <laughs> what pay, is that? payment wall is basically like um kind of similar to stripe and things like that so it will uh -huh. um, it'll accept high risk business oh this is nice this is something i can look into what do you think you said yeah definitely i heard about it like a couple of times i never used um, it I, I, if i'm honest i'm not sure what the fees and things are because um usually what happens that i've seen um, once they start um, accepting these high risk businesses, you're talking two, three percent on your chat on your um, That's thing. your things. So I don't know. I'll just do I a am, quick one. I am just quickly checking their website. The yeah. website looks so nice. I tiny yeah. told heard you about them. I don't know, made well. Nine percent. Actually, oh, the website, so yeah, the website looks looks, uh, good, eh? looks, looks like shit. Two point <laughs> come on, yeah, right. it's like shit. Yeah, it's it's like we don't really need to talk about. Fun made it. <laughs> we don't really need to talk about how the website looks. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> he, is, he is always fussy. He is always fussy. So, um, yeah, Abdul will agree that it looks like shit. Okay, so one yeah, thing you, actually, I, I, I was watching a movie and you told me there is a life. So please tell me what we're doing here. <laughs> we are here to discuss um, the current situation in China with ePacket and how dropshippers can overcome it using other methods. Oh, well, wow, that's an awesome topic. Are I you going to follow? Very, I, I think it's a very popular topic. I thought to do this with uh, Kevin and you. The way everybody knows that how experienced you both on drop shipping. So hopefully they will throw lots of questions. And we yeah, talk can, about I just, can I just answer the guy about paywall? Oh yeah. Go on. Guy, uh, I've just have a look on the website. <laughs> um, <laughs> guy. <laughs> well, I don't know his name is it might be a girl. Yeah, okay, guy Facebook user. Is... <laughs> Let me try to find um, it. <laughs> if you're willing to pay a very high cost per um, transaction, then fair play to you, go with them, because some of them are 5% on their website, 3.9%, and 2.9% for non-USA cards, uh, non-EU cards, and 2.1% for EU cards. So it it's might be worth high. looking at. Um, if you're not having any success anywhere like Stripe, PayPal, or elsewhere, but be prepared to pay a higher premium. Mm. Oh. This is the problem about high high risk uh, payment providers. For example, if you go to the Stripe, which most of launches users or most of people in the dropshipping industry, they always have problem with Stripe. But the rate yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and if you go with that kind of uh, PSPs, payment service providers, they accept you, obviously, 
Um, but obviously, their uh, rates are way higher than other competitors. So of course, is, there's of course, because, a strange... because they're taking a higher risk. Yeah, 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 on the other hand, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What is the exact name? I you just asked. He's asking. Yeah. Payment, Payment, Payment wall. wall. Can I comment here? No. I'm back. Uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't think so. You can comment to the, the user directly from the, the yeah, panel I you see can. now. I think you can, can you? Yeah, last time no. I could, but well, your stream yard is shit because I could do right. a lot of things in so, my Whose stream is shit? But your stream yard, I could like type comments, see the users. I don't mm. know what's going on here. Anyway, right. So, uh, you said before you come, I was, yeah. was trying to introduce Drop Hippo and Kevin. Uh, who is watching? I know most of them, they know him, but I told him, uh, talk, let's talk about Drop Hippo, what Drop Hippo does. Give us some details about your application and the services, obviously. Did, did we not just do that? <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but uh, you said this, yeah, he didn't hear about you, you know. <laughs> I don't give a, I don't give a fuck. I I've been living with drop people. He, he, he fulfills my order. I don't give a fuck. Whoever I don't care about drop people. Can watch the replay. So can, um, can you start? We need to start accepting people. To yeah, the let, let let's start. No, I I I um accepted some users already, like in the group. So I'm um, up to date doing some shit because I'm a multilingual, um, uh, um, a bilingual. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. Just bilingual. <laughs> <laughs> you know the coronavirus fucked our heads, brothers. So it's the same routine every day. You wake up like a fucking donkey. You go shower, then you go to the gym if you if you able like to do some shit. Then you have lunch. Work a bit, watch something, work a bit, and that's it. You can't leave. You can do anything else. Nothing creative at all. So it's like you're repeating uh, the, the same day over and know. over. No matter how much you learn new stuff, no matter how much you add to your fucking knowledge, but it's kind of the same thing. So we work yeah, first. Uh, I'm, I'm going to disagree with you there. Oh, that is you. Come on. Damn, you disagree fine, fine. with me? Oh, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> the reason being is we are the busiest we have been since we started. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about work at all. So I'm, not sit so I'm not sitting watching TV. Yeah, you no, 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 I'm not, no, I'm not talking about the work because I always like go live and I say, guys, this is the best time to sell. But you have to worry a lot about the logistics. This is what could fuck. I you. thought you were sitting saying you were sitting watching Netflix all day. <laughs> no, I he wish. Does. He does. <laughs> no, I wish. Now I was watching until you fucked my plan, but no. <laughs> I yeah, wish. well. Yeah. So um yeah, as Kevin always says, like this is a very busy time of the year. Despite all the the fuck ups with logistics, mm -hmm. but they're still like uh, and then, and then, there are some they, they, companies yeah. that do it. And I would I would say it's all to do with um, women are sitting at home buying. Yeah, you know what they're yeah. like. Yeah. So because yeah. the, like the equation buy. is like this: when women is home buying. But at one point, if this is if this won't be solved, they won't have any money to spend. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're in Canada, you're getting two k a month, which is good. <laughs> Not really. Oh, yeah. So that so that's one thing that I can touch on while you mention Canada. Um, shipping to Canada right now is super expensive. Oh, really? Canada and Australia. Oh damn! Why is it? Why it is? Why, why it is? I mean, why it's more expensive than I, other I, countries? I, I, I honestly don't know. Um, so, so let me just jump in and just say what exactly at the moment we're doing. I may as well, okay? Mm -hmm. So basically, we use a dedicated shipping line. Well, 
three dedicated shipping lines. Um, and the only four countries that we ship to at the moment are USA, the UK, five five countries, USA, UK, Germany, Italy, and France. That's the, it. The reason being is that is the only ones we can guarantee to get your package there within a good time frame. So you're talking between eight to twelve days. Now, if you want to ship to somewhere like um, Spain, so Spain's post office system is now only working from 9.30 a.m. in the morning till 12.30 a.m. and then they're closed. That's it. That's oh, it. Wow. They're closed. That's so a long Spain, year. No, okay. And Puerto Rico, Brazil, Chile, um, just the South American countries switch off them countries in your ads because your customers are going to be waiting so long right now on a package. It's crazy. I'm not saying you can't ship there, but you would need to communicate with your customer and let them know they're going to be two months. At least. Two months. Yeah. So well. the other thing as well is, we can ship to Australia and we can ship to Canada, but the courier that we need to use for there is extremely expensive. So which, we which, cut which that. type of courier is it express or is it standard? No, no, no. We only use dedicated line express only. Like I ordered um so you know we donated the masks for the charities. Mm -hmm. That was brilliant. So we just sent them with a normal dedicated line to the UK and we got them here in eight days. That's pretty fast, no? It is in the current situation. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so there's no issue. So that's what people need to look at. It's not a case of now where before... Um, and, and you'll agree with me, Yusuf, where we would all go world, would go worldwide with our ads. Yeah, definitely not. Uh, you know, you, you, know, you just, you know you just can't do it now. You, you can't do that. Um, not only that, it's going to damage your brand. Mm -hmm. It's going to cause issues with your PayPal. It's going to cause issues with Stripe. And that is not a healthy thing. So during the coronavirus situation and the way things are working at the moment, um, even if you're not working with Drop People, you need to speak to your agent or your supplier and ask them outright, who are you using to ship? Mm. And ask them for proof. Ask them for tracking for an item or many items that they've sent out the week before and see what they've used and if it's updated and also if it's moving through the system. If they're not willing to provide you with that information, move away. Mm -hmm. Because I would say people ask us for tracking and, and shows, and, and we are so happy just to say, here you go. There's our tracking from last week. You can see it's moving. Mm -hmm. You know, and AliExpress... I know so many people that are still buying on AliExpress every day using ePacket and um, Overload. Ali, Ali standard shipping. Like, do you not care about your business? Your PayPal account? Your Stripe account? What, what are you going to do once this is all over and you have all these chargebacks? Yeah, this is what I always like um, get on live on my Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And in Arabic, I always say that. Don't be uh, fooled by the beautiful and great stats. Because if you go now, honestly, you're going to you're gonna score a lot of sales. Because, you know, CPM yeah. is down. You can see that the CPM is massively down. Um, and you get so many purchases. Because as we said, people are of home. Um, and they're, they're, they're willing to buy some, some stuff. So, um, when they go in the sellers and they see so many purchases, they get so 
um, happy. So they keep scaling and scaling. Then um, mm -hmm. at the end of the road, they're, they're drop shipping from um, AliExpress and using all those um, old school methods that are proven to be good. E-packet, um, AliExpress standard shipping. And they don't know that these shipping uh, methods are not working at the moment. And I always tell them, hold your horses, guys. If you can't, if you don't know what's going on, if you don't know the shipping time that are um, that is taking your products to to uh, to be received by your customers, you have to stop because you're gonna lose your Facebook, you're gonna lose your Stripe account, you're gonna lose everything. So unless you have a good plan to exit this, or you have spare things, uh, spare accounts to. Uh, back you up after this finishes stop and don't do anything unless you know what you're doing exactly exactly and this is why i always like warn them because you know again stats are very um attractive at the moment they're like yeah let's do this bye bye guys in arabic so um i always tell them hold your horses guys and make sure everything is is going right um all right in the background it has to be. People, some people are too interested in money, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, you know um, there's, there's one thing that I like. I'm um, sorry to interrupt you, Kevin. Oh, okay. It's smart to make sales. It's smart and beautiful to make sales. But the true business and the true smart thing is to um maintain or to protect your business to be going all the time so if you can't do this you're not doing business you're just doing um, uh, um a quick buck and then stopping because this is this, this should be proceeding all the time it's smart to bring sales but it, you should be smart enough like to keep your business going that's the true business exactly 100 percent. exactly and that's like um, and th and that's where um, what we have we have realigned what we are doing at the moment. So in our app, we had in our application we had over a thousand products. Um, and what we've done is we've we've removed over five hundred, I think it is, because mm -hmm. we can't guarantee to send that item. In the right correct time frame that you need for your customers to be happy yeah so we remove them because i don't want someone buying a product and we're not able to ship it out in a good time frame because it could be liquid um, and battery operated is the two things that you need to stay away from as well so we we're losing money on them products because they were selling but we had to take the decision do we keep going selling these and letting people have issues with it or do we remove them and bring them back after everything's started to um open up again and we can sell them so we just took the case and and over 500 products is a lot of items for us to remove especially when them are selling you know but but that's just that that's just the nature of the things that you're saying about how you need to be clever now to let your business keep running so it doesn't matter if you're just a drop shipper but also the f fulfillment companies now need to look at how they are doing things as well and be ethical they what do you mean with ethical, ethical. well there is a few out there that will sell you anything. If you ask for a product, they will just say, yeah, we can source it, get it to you, and they'll ship it. And then three weeks later, the man will say, or the buyer will say, this tracking's not moved, or it's whatever. And they go, oh, yeah, 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 because we're shipping it by boat. Mm -hmm. By boat? Yeah. So there is fulfillment <laughs> companies at the moment shipping by boat. Yeah, but yep. it's going to take ages. So that is, I heard this from a couple of people. Yeah. About, sorry, sorry, carry on. So that's what I was talking about earlier on. So let's, for talking sake, a uh, cargo ship from China goes to Australia. It's quarantined right away. 
So if your goods are on there, it's not going anywhere, and you're stuck. Mm. It's crazy. And I, I don't understand. It's because some fulfillment companies don't have that attitude where they look a year or two down the line where they like to um, see how their business is going to perform, but not just that, have an interest in how their sellers are. You need you need to work with your sellers. Be transparent. Tell them you can't do it. Um, just like the resistance bands, we had someone with over a thousand orders. We we bought in some samples. They all snapped, so we refused the order. So what we've done now is we've manufactured our own. It took us two weeks to do it, but we've got them, and they work. Mm -hmm. That's just an issue, and you're losing money at it. But in the long run, you're not having people coming back to you and saying certain things. So no matter what agent, if it's an agent, AliExpress, um, a 3PL, whatever, speak to them, ask them questions, and if they're not willing to answer your questions, just move along and find the next one. Yep. We've all yeah. went south. Yeah. Um, I have a, I mean, I have a question. Um, yeah. I watched your live two days ago, I, I think. You were talking about there is a problem with that e-package or something like that. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure you both know what, what, what I'm, I'm mentioning. But can you give us more details about that? Yeah, so e-packet is now done. So a lot of countries have now um, banned e-packet from shipping to their countries. So some are getting there in 30 days or 40 days because mainly e-packet was using flights. So if you talk about a commercial flight, they would use that. Now, can you imagine how many commercial flights are flying yeah. out of China at the moment? So just yesterday or this this morning, we were just told about Puerto Rico. Well, it's been what stopped, happened to Puerto Rico? stopped by the dedicated line. Oh, well. So we've got orders for that, so we need to cancel them, refund them. That yeah. thing. It's, a, it's a fluid situation we're in. Everything is changing all the time, but ePacket has is the first one that's been hit hard, really, really hard. And I think it's due to them not being forward thinking and looking at other ways that they can get their packages out the door and using other mm. courier methods and things like that. They've just stuck to their guns and found out it hasn't worked. So yeah. if you're using ePacket or AliExpress standard shipping stop right away. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing that we never knew. Okay, so let me give you a little tip. It's not even a tip, something that I only found out the last couple of days. You get a dedicated, we've got a dedicated line to the USA. Oh, okay. Wow. But some places in USA are so remote it can't go by dedicated line. Yep. Like? It's not many. It's only, it's only a couple. But what happens then is it will take an extra week. So it's small things like that you need to think on. And you need to keep your users update. Anyone that's selling with you, let them know. But yeah, ePacket, I think, just thought everyone uses us. They'll keep using us, and they are still using them. That's the thing. People are still going on AliExpress and using them, which is insane, because you've seen Facebook. And on Facebook, everyone is posting, stop using it. On Reddit, they're saying, stop using it. On Quora, they're saying, stop using it. But yet, people still use it. There's yeah. a question. I know, I know you talk about that. Um, 
a user who says, what is the best shipping method now from China? Drop people. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, no, so I, um, depending on who you are using, um, I would ask them to use either 4PX, yep. Unixpress, or Yanwen. That's the three that I would say are stable at this time. Um, uh, Uyghur, there's a question that I think you yeah, missed. Yeah, um, uh, I, I, I don't know. I've seen that right. but you guys talking about dropship, and I didn't want to interrupt you with the Facebook yes. thing. Let me jump on the question quickly yeah, because this just like a lot of people have Skype issues, so it would be nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, there is a question. I've been banned from Stripe for about three times, and I'm thinking to, of opening a new LTD in order to apply with it. Is there any chance? I mean, I want to know if I should open using someone else's name or just mine. But it is first, we need to know why they banned you. It has to be a reason. Um, if it's private, don't put on the comments. Email us on help at launches.com. Mention my name, Uyghur. And or all support team, they'll help you anyways. We need to know why they ban you. If if you did something, I'll be honest with you, we are family here. If you did something uh, dirty, if they if the product you're selling is doesn't suitable to Stripe policies, they will ban you. Drop shipping is always risky, as we are always talking about. We need to know why they ban you three times. It has to be a reason. And after knowing that, we might help you or we can advise you. Um, I need to know why they banned you. Because there are a couple of different bans. Did you try to create the account with your name, with the LTD? If it's with LTD, did, you, did they ban you straight away when you activated your account? Or after the first sale? Or when you started to scale your sale? This is very important. We need to know that detail. But on the other hand, uh, you are asking, is there any chance? Yes, there is always a chance. I mean, there is always a chance. I'm not giving you 100% uh, guarantee. Nobody can, even launches or anyone, because Stripe has their own policies and they have their own rules. We don't know if they're going to accept you or not. But which I've seen with my experience, there are lots of people, yes, they set up new LTD, new website. If the product line is a problem, change your product line find something else. And the most important thing I always talk about, make your website looking nice. This is very, very, very important. If your website looking like, I mean, sort of say about 80% of the dropshipping websites, they look horrible. If your website looking like that, most likely, yes, they're gonna ban you again. But what I'll suggest, email us, help, and help at launches.com, tell us the, all details, why they ban you, how they ban you, etc. And we will add, you don't need to work with launches, but we can advise you at least what to do, and we can give you some advice. Can, can I just oh. ask something about that, Uyghur? Yeah, yeah. Can I ask? So, because you work so closely with the companies like Stripe, Tide, and etc., do they give you the reason why you're why the, the accounts are banned? Or at they least don't them. share. They don't. They never share. I mean, I cannot give the name, which company. Some of them, yes, they mention tiny bit, but they. I mean, those big companies, they are weird, man. Amazon, PayPal, this, that. They all they say, yes, we are banning you, and we don't need to explain you why. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I, there was a case last year in Germany, some people, they took it to the court, Amazon sellers in Germany, they said, hey, you're banning us, you're ruining our business model, everything, why, at least tell us why. I think Amazon is changing the policy now, means it's going to affect the other companies in Europe as well, but I don't know that. But to yeah, answer yeah, your well, question, they, they, don't sh they don't share this information all the time, sadly. Right. Guys, you know what? Um, last week, I got a message from uh, Ronnie, you know Ronnie, McKenzie. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so he hit me up and he said, Hey, Yusuf, 
uh, PayPal is trying to make it up with the Middle Eastern audience. Uh, oh, nice. Yeah, they're losing a lot of audience and they want, um, if you don't mind, like talking to them and like finding something, probably you can uh, find some solutions, getting back some people on PayPal. I said, PayPal has been ruining those Middle Eastern guys, especially like the people living in Morocco, uh, um, especially like in Morocco, because they, they've been, they've been like, you know, taking a lot of um, bad uh actions stopping accounts um and joining people and um so as other companies like stripe all of them and that could be like one main reason the moment they say they see somebody coming from morocco or they do have a sort of a pattern so when they see that pattern they're like oh no let's stop the account without any obvious clear reason just like being I don't know what, but this is so bad. And they realized this. And um, unfortunately, or they already um, ruined a lot of people's businesses, a lot of people's lives that are counting on those solutions. And they don't know that this is the, like, the only solution they can make. And honestly, guys, I don't know. I'm sure because both of you had PayPal issues. And you know how much is a pain in the ass creating another PayPal and um getting on the paypal's um road again because it's 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 mostly impossible to create a new paypal without getting banned at least for two months trying so um as you can see like they do realize after time is over that they fucked up some people there and they try to make it up but i don't know if that is um a good uh thing from them so this could be no, like they, Kev, they do have a pattern, especially from the Middle Eastern guys or North Africa, like Morocco, let's say. And the moment they see somebody from there, they just fucking ban it. I would like to add something because you are talking exactly what I heard in a couple of weeks' time. We have some customers, they're from Morocco. And one specific customer, he is in econ business for a long time, you know him. And he said, we got they treat us like shit when mm -hmm. they know we are coming from West College, Egypt, this, that, Morocco, etc. We help him to open a PayPal UK business account. And I'm always checking with him how he's going. Everything is okay. And he's going to, he's doing good numbers. He said, Uyghur, today I realize again, if you have a PayPal UK business account and if you have a Morocco personal or business account, the treatment of the customer support is totally different. He said, he said, I have from my PayPal UK account that many uh, chargebacks and etc. And they are talking to me like to find a way how to solve that problem. He said, I had this problem thousand times with my Moroccan PayPal. They even didn't listen my uh, reply appeal and they shut my accounts one by one without yeah. asking any questions. And these assholes, so to produce those poor people, they treat them different if they have a UK business account. Isn't it so silly? Definitely, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, think it, I think it's silly um, for sure. Uh, because I'm working with a Moroccan seller at the moment who's really struggling to get Stripe accounts. And, they do, yeah, they do. and like one sale will come through on a new Stripe account and closed. It's mm -hmm. crazy. And in, in, in my Stripe is six years old. So to me, that it's is all down. No, but my, to, what I mean is it's down to country. Yeah, it's down to country. Yeah. Okay. yeah it's unfair. It's unfair, but this is how they do it. It's, yeah, definitely. Is, I mean, before jump, before jump into the dropshipping questions, there is one gentleman again asking related to the payment gateways. Uh, banned from banned on Pioneer due to opening double accounts from different countries. Is there any way to get a new account? Uh, to get banned from Pioneer is a bit 
more difficult than if you compare with PayPal or Stripe, etc. Yeah, it is I, very interesting. I'm the pioneer. How, yeah, I mean, it's very interesting. I mean, I heard some people, really a few has been banned from Pioneer. I'm sure there is outside. Um, mm -hmm. Again, I mean, email us, help at uh, launches.com. In launches, we have a slightly better connection with Pioneer. I'm not promising anything, but I can reach them to just to give us a tiny bit detail of why they banned you, etc. Email me on help at launches.com. I will try to help you. There are lots of questions about dropipo and dropshipping. Do you want me to put them to the screen one by one, guys? Yeah, hell yeah. Mm -hmm. First one. Dropipo, so, what are the countries? So the first one is China, um, where we do a lot of business. Um, the other one is in the USA. And we also have two in the UK. Um, but one of them is now closed due to one of the users getting COVID-19. So we also can't get deliveries to our warehouse in the UK due to um, the police are actually stopping um, deliveries. But in the USA, oh. uh, what I'll say is a fantastic <clears throat> service we have out there, um, all kudos to the guys that are working their ass off out there. So if you're scaling a product in the USA, what we can do is we can ship your product for you. At no, no charge, no extra charge for you. It will be shipped out at the normal rate that you pay for it as a single item uh, mm -hmm. and have it there within six days and then shipped out to your customers within um, to, to your USA customer. Mm -hmm. um, our China warehouse, um, we do a lot of different things in there. So we ship out from there. Um, we also manufacture or manufacture products there as well. So it, it is quite funny, and I'm, I'm not I'm not going to mention anything that's on here. But a lot of the products, or not a lot, but some of the products you guys are selling are actually manufactured by us or by, by our guys in China. And they have copied it and put it on AliExpress and selling it at a price that's just insane, terrible quality. Um, it, it, it's nuts. But that's what we do out there. So uh, China is good. They're great. Um, we've been working with them a long time. And that's how now what I'm saying to you guys is we can get the stuff out a lot quicker now um, mm -hmm. and get it certainly to the, the five countries that I mentioned um, eight, to 12, eight to 12 days. But the other thing as well is with the USA, um, we are not accepting bulk shipments there that you pay for. The reason being is if you buy, say, a thousand um, teapots and you send them to our warehouse in the USA yeah. and all of a sudden the USA locks down that state and locks down the warehouse, your items are stuck well. So we can't ship them out. It's not our fault. We're not going to be able to refund you. So that's what's going to happen. That That's why we're not... You are, are asking me to send out in bulk, but we're not. But we will buy in ourselves for you. If only if you're scaling to 100 to 200 a day, we'll ship out to the USA for you under our own um, steam. Well, there is there is one more question, but we need Yusuf's help about this question. Yeah, it says from Gaza, the salute to you, Yusufiko. <laughs> so, sorry, sorry, do we not count? Oh, something happened. Hold on, he, he dropped. Good. 
<laughs> Probably yeah. fell off. No, he's he's showing, he's showing. No, what happened there? You broke him. I don't know how to say your ah, name, but you, you broke on. the guy. Oh, there what? we go. He's back. <laughs> I kicked. I kicked you out mistakenly. <laughs> now, you, now you kicked Wallacita. Where where are you, big guy? Uh, he's gone. Where did you go? Oh, he's my, back. my people in Gaza, bro. Ah, nice. Good, good man. Good Guy, man. The dropshippers, lots of questions for you. I'm putting them one by one. Go on. My supplier says he is using 1DL Express. I have never heard about this shipping company. Yeah. Neither have I. Good guy, actually. Um, let me just have a quick Google over this. One. I never. I, I already Googled. I didn't like use it before. <laughs> Fuck is that? I can't, come up, I can't come up with a new one. It's a people <laughs> people in the group please all right so um my first thing to say is guys if you're ever looking for information on um reviews on shipping companies and how they're doing um use the company called trackingmore.com which one again here for one dl is terribly slow Worst ever, not good, worst fucking company. Ever. Oh fuck! So definitely not. <laughs> Change it's, your shipping I, company. I trust my grandma to do this better than that company after those reviews. So one DL. Hell no. It's actually called EDL Express. Actually. So let me just double check. It looks like it's actually, but yeah, you can't even go on their website. Their website's down. Oh, fuck. No, the right. website. No, so, the website. Um, I'm going to say to you, stay away, but away. it's up to you. I wonder if that's mm. the same page that says, oh, shit, I'm fucked. Is it? <laughs> What is that? I'm trying. Down the bottom. So the other one we have, right, where were we? Da, da, da. My, I'm okay. the working, working My supplier on. has one deal. Right, what's the next one? Um, the next how, one is coming. How is Drop Pippo different from Oberlo? Yeah, tell us. We are more of a personal company. So what we are is a more transparent. Oberlo is good in what they do. I'm not going to ever knock Oberlo or other companies. That's not what I do. We do things different. We're very transparent with you. If things go wrong, we will fix them yeah. off the bat. Our customer support is second to none. Um, we mm -hmm. have a great team with us, and pretty much we source anything and everything. And not only that, we can also manufacture your product products for you as well, and mm -hmm. ship to the USA if you're scaling free of charge. That's different from a mm -hmm. We don't connect to AliExpress. We don't deal with AliExpress. We've got nothing to do with AliExpress. We only deal with manufacturers and suppliers. Well, one supplier who has many, many manufacturers or whatever to deal with um, and contacts there. But no, I, I, I don't really want to disobey, though. It's not my place to do that. Um, but we are... Um, a different company and a different setup. Mm. Yusef, also, I think those are for you. Can you accept some people into the group, please? More people need yeah, to watch this live. I just done it. Let me go back in. 
Admit. Go back to work. I just saw something. Where is this uh, oh, live mainly posted? In um, in which page? I don't know. Live? I don't know where these people are coming from. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so this is the issue with uh, multi... Um, Channel, I guess, yeah. <laughs> There's nobody waiting to get in in task kickers. Yeah, I don't know. We have like tons waiting to come in task kickers, no? Mm. I think oh, it's I, I just mapped them all as whatever. Okay, I'm moving forward. Love messages yeah. to Yusef. Another love message to Yusef. <laughs> oh, this one is launches, which is nice. Somebody loves us. This is good. <laughs> Hello, launches. Hello, guys. Um, there is one launches related question. Is there a risk to Stripe accounts currently? Is well, there, there, is always, there is always a risk about the Stripe if you are doing dropshipping. And as I always say, they mention clearly on their terms and conditions, um, prohibited business pages, etc. They are not really looking positive. To the dropshipping business, but it doesn't mean dropshippers they cannot use them. Uh, but you need to play with their rules. Uh, Google something called Stripe website checklist. Just Google it. Stripe website checklist. You don't need me. You don't need launches. Um, they tell you what to do, how to design your website, how to put right uh, terms and conditions or other policy pages in your website. What they are checking mainly. Uh, they explain over there. It's a full page, I think five, six different pages they have, and they explain fantastic. There is always, a, as we always say, design your website nicely. Looks like a brand. Try to be brand. Yusuf Khalid is talking about that every single time. Don't think today, okay, um, COVID now, coronavirus is popular now. Let's sell the corona, uh, design, the, the products. Uh, but change it another product next time. Change it another. Build a brand. And watch his videos. He's talking about that all the time. Build a real brand. The way when they look to your website, they will see, oh, this is not a shit looking dropshipping website. These guys, they know what they're doing. Uh, there is a phone number. If we call somebody, answers. There's an email address there. They register, etc. So play the game with their rules. If you are not playing the, the game with their rules, they refuse you for sure. <clears throat> okay. Um, oh, this is for dropshippers. I didn't understand the question properly, but oh, I'm drinking uh, Kevin, this is. Oh, yeah. This is, we, uh, we have it this. It raises your immunization. It improves your immunization system. It's optimal. Actively, yeah, you have it. Yeah, 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 yeah we have it here as well. Yeah. We have it on international shit. <laughs> so, first of all, you need to go to our application at app.drophippo.com. But we also have a demo store at drophippo.myshopify.com. But oh, that okay. is being updated at the moment with the product that we are removing which is a huge task but the best thing to do is go you see the picture on there and up where it says install app click on that and you'll see everything you need to see to get what we sell or offer to sell Guys, I hate like to promote shit but um, I've been using Drop People for so long and these are the only people that fulfill my orders, so I, I, I'm, I'm, not promoting, I'm not promoting, right? I'm not. Did you pay no. me to promote you, fucking bullshit? <laughs> you can't, you can't really, it. can you can't really promote something when it's on the screen? <laughs> 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 it's already there. <laughs> yeah. It's already there. Quick one. Um, but is there any chance to modify the information for my old Stripe? You can update anything on Stripe. Just go to the settings and change the uh, company settings or whatever uh, details you have. Right. You can update. Yeah, of course you can update. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Da, 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 da. Okay, I'm checking. Oh, another one for dropshippers. What's gonna COVID? Is it COVID ten? I think it's COVID nineteen. No. Yeah, I was hoping there is a new. I'm like, did I sleep too much today, or did I? I don't know. I didn't get it. So. I'm happy. It, I'm still. I still remember that it's COVID nineteen because it's so fucking confusing. All the shit. I think, I think that's a good question. Um, both me and Yusuf would love to answer. Yeah, but, but we can't. And the reason being is, we have no idea how long this is going to last. And how and it's gonna, uh, and how it's going to end. Honestly, we like don't know. in our country here. And it's so stupid. They still don't have it under control. And they started talking about just today. Just start, they started talking about how to escape this. Start like exiting plan. So I'm like, exit plan. Yeah, god damn it, you haven't controlled it yet. How are you thinking about getting back to uh, normal life and getting everything? All they care about is economy. Um, and yeah, uh, that's all about the money. You don't care about sacrificing. Uh, hundreds of thousands of people they don't give a fuck all they care about is not getting into mud and this is pretty shameful so honestly i don't know how this is going to end i'm living day by day this is what i always tell people don't ask me tomorrow what's going to happen or this shipping method is going to work or not i don't know i know that it's working for me until today don't come tomorrow and ask me what's going to happen i don't know so uh I wish I had um, a clear uh, vision or a clear answer to this question, but we always wish for the best. And um, as a positive person, I always uh, know that there's going to be like a positive ending to anything, any bad thing. So hopefully everything is going to be good. Um, everyone is going to survive until then. I know it's been so bad and so hard for a lot of people um who mainly struggle to go to their uh day jobs even like to get something to uh support their families but hopefully praying every day that this is going to end beautifully and positively to everyone and it's going to end very soon when we, nobody knows actually um what, and what I would like to see the logo here the launches logo i'm going to show you something something really funny because i thought this logo was coming from here i have it here as well so, uh -huh. so i'm like what the fuck is this 3d now and say hello to you. <laughs> uh, hi, <Lily. laughs> so that was funny i'm like what the fuck? <laughs> so that was the, the other thing that i would like to see from and um, what's happened during the coronavirus is um, the feeling of community. So, th so the communities and the neighbourhoods have came together and helped everyone. Ah, that's and, right. and before that, you would maybe walk by your neighbour and not not say hello, or you'd say hello, and that would be your pleasantry. But now you're actually going and speaking to them, making sure they're okay. Everyone, yep, like that. I would love to see that continue after the coronavirus is away because it showed us as a world we're not all bad people and we do care yeah. about our community. When the crunch comes to the crunch, we get out there and we help. And I would love to see that when this ends, we all continue to help the NHS or the hospitals, wherever you are. Um, and do things like that because it's really opened up your eyes that people are concerned about their neighbours and concerned about um, the elderly and things like that. So that that's what I would like to see at the end of this. Correct. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. If I survive, okay. that is. Mm. If we survive. Uh, yeah. yeah. We will survive. If we stay home, we will survive, I think. <laughs> if we go out, we'll oh, <laughs> We have a question, and I want to answer this one. Which one? Hmm. Which one? The one? Okay, this one? Why, did you, do, 
Why did you do that anonymous? Give me your name. I'll come and find you. Um, <laughs> 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 do, 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 I mean, I'm sure we can see his name if we go to the page, but come on. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I absolutely understand where he's coming from. So there's a few reasons why some of the prices in Drop Hippo have been high for a while. Um, before, um, we were using a different company and we have actually started to remove them products. That's one of the things. So they were priced way too high. But also, what you have to remember is we are offering you a different service from anyone else. We are 24-7 working our ass off to help you. Um, if our prices are too high for you, I do apologize. But please, if you feel the price is too high for you, reach out to me personally on Facebook. Tell me the product and I will try and work what I can with you. All yeah. right. Okay. Always reach out. Always reach out. Don't just look at the product and say that price is high. Because remember, we have so many products on um drop hippo. It's very hard when prices change to get it lowered as well. We are a, a smaller team, and the reason being a smaller team and a remote team is so we can keep our costs down to pass over to you guys. But So if you mm. find the price is too high on Drop Hippo, please reach out to me personally at Kevin Reed on Facebook, and I will work with you and see what I can do for you. This question comes from, oh, hold on, um, Abdul Rahman, Abdul Rahman Motrani. He posted to the Long Cheese group, and he said, yes, he will definitely contact with you about that. Okay, that's fine, not uh, a problem. Not just to, not tonight, though. Can you give us some tips not to have your Fresh Stripe account banned? I, actually, I have to say something very important to my, Please especially... Go followers especially to my followers because yes i'm a part of launches but actually every stripe account or every entity that i start every new company i don't know i don't know anything about it i hand it to we guard honestly and i don't <laughs> think all thing behind this so um whatever happens or whatever problem happens i'm like fucking we got come solve this for me i'm like you guys uh, so sometimes they come and ask me, I'm like, oh, I seriously don't know, guys. I'm like, yeah. So, <laughs> I'm part of launches, but I'm very, and oh, God knows, I don't, I don't know anything, what happens in the background, how they do this, how not. So um, I'm happy that Uyghur is here so he can answer such questions that I myself can't answer, honestly. They, when they ask me, I'm like, okay, I'm going to either skip this question or call someone, call <laughs> Honestly, I don't know it. Fair enough, fair enough. I mean, this is a very typical question which we receive 1,000 times every single day. Hello, can you give me some tips not to have your fresh strike account banned? I mean, if I mean, we're recording this live anyway. If you go a tiny bit back and, and or any live video we do, that we always answer this question, but I'm going to repeat it again. If you don't want to get banned from Stripe, first, Pay attention to your website. Design it nicely. Don't, you know, uh, white background, horrible logo. There is no information about company, product, etc. On the main page, buy now button, just one product over there. Or uh, there is a kitchen related product and there is a car part in the same website. That kind of stuff. Don't, don't do that. I mean, look. Um, please. I at the moment, I'm working on a video on how to build a brandable website at the moment oh, as a nice. for users, and I'll be posting it on YouTube over the next few days. Oh, that's awesome. Um, that's good. So, so probably when you finish it, you can uh, like talk to me and probably we can get someone to uh, 
dub it to uh, Arabic or Darija or whatever. So Arabic oh. also would uh, find this very useful. Arabic. What? I know Arabic. I learned you... in Casablanca. Yeah, yeah. Use, use your Arabic. We barely fucking understand your English to, to understand. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you said yeah. come on. He's Come. never seen Arabic. Please. Yeah. That's why you're. You that's why you're. That's why you're replying every time I speak. You don't understand me. And please don't. And <laughs> please. No, seriously. So what I, I'll be doing is a tutorial on how to build a Shopify store from scratch and make it oh, brandable. Okay. Um. So yeah. I was meant to start today, but um, we were doing this live, so. That's the next. Uh, that's the next thing that's going to be coming out from Drop Pipple right. to help um, people, because we've noticed um, too many websites look the same. Mm -hmm. Every website, yeah, yeah. you guys. <laughs> well, wait till you see what oh. I bring out. Because what happened? What happens <laughs> is um, they do get they do get a, a nulled theme and they start spreading it everywhere. <laughs> So uh, every every theme or every story, I'm like, oh, I saw this theme just like five minutes ago. Mm. I'll be using a free theme and it will be done well. That's good. Yeah. Uh, give, give me details. I would like to see that. Um, there is one question I missed. Sorry. Look, I'm putting the. I'm from India. I want to use launch services. As you can register, company help them apply for land UK visa. This is a common question we receive every week. Um, we are an advisor, <laughs> consultant company. We operate on setting up businesses, advising people about payment ways. We have no experience about visa and that kind of process. I wish I can help, but it is very totally different expertise, which I have no idea. Um, on the paper, well, you said what you're doing with your eyes. <laughs> Are you tired? Meow. Continue. <laughs> I'm um, 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 I would like to help, but this is not we build the launches on. We have no experience. We have the new services, bookkeeping, accounting, this, that, etc. But I am, and the visa in UK is a very complicated process, and I really don't want to get involved. It's very difficult. <laughs> so, I mean, we happy to help you to set up your company and everything, but I cannot promise or I cannot help anything related to the visa. Sorry. Okay, I'm going. There's another one. The main topic is dropshipping, but I see many uh, questions comes up about the payment gateways, etc. So I would like to. Hello, Thanks for being here. Right. As you can. What is that? GTA GTA is a very strange company. They, they some some of our users they love them, some of them they don't. I I talk with the marketing manager every couple of weeks. Um, I think they have Yusef knows that kind of stuff more than me. I'll give a tiny bit of information, then I'll ask a question to Yusef actually about that. Uh, Shopify doesn't let uh, payment gateways to build on-site payments all the time and uh, especially if there is a new payment gateway comes up to the market and they build their shopify application shopify is becoming like a cartel a really strange company I, I have to be honest with you they don't let those new applications to build on to work with shopify websites on-site payment because shopify payment is making money on that one so you customers they need to leave the website off-site or I don't know how technically called. Uh, so uh, GTA is one of them. And you said, uh, lots of people, they ask questions about paying on site in Shopify. And if they leave, if the customer leaves the Shopify and comes back, they say conversion rate is low, et cetera. Do you mind to tell, give some details, technical details with your expertise to the people? See guys, um, obviously, everyone wants to pay on page and every seller wants that solution like to uh, get your customer uh, their customers to pay on page not to leave any third party or whatever 
customer. So, but this doesn't happen with most of the sellers. Most of the sellers are struggling, as you can tell, and as you can see, to get those like, you know, on page companies to get accounts with. So, they're left with such options as um, to check out GT, uh, G, G2A, I think. G2A, yeah. G2A, G2A you, uh, good yeah. company. Up that. Yeah, this is it is a good company, and I um I know some people with good experience actually, uh, but if this is like the only solution you're left out with, why not? And um, if you know a good developer, you can end up with something really cool and doing this on page. Uh, so this is a pro tip from uh, me to you guys. You can do this actually on page. Um, alter. There's no um official application that does this because shopify obviously doesn't want this to be to, to to be happening on this side but you can still like with few um developing um uh, powers you can do this and if not you can always like choose another platform to do this woocommerce uh soon light funnels but you can find a third party or as um, a different platform to do this and use those companies uh much better let's say you know in a, an, a in a better way to to use them like to stay on page or to use them on page but uh less uh brutal than shopify because with shopify you totally leave the page to um to another or to, to, to something else. So you can do this like properly on um, with some developing uh, powers. You need this. Good. Okay, um, I am moving forward. Um, another love message. I love you guys. I'm going. There's a funny one. Imagine Uyghur speaks Arabic. I speak very good Arabic. Do you underestimate no. me? I, uh, I love you know I what know, I mean. I don't you're know. not saying those words, motherfucker. You're not saying those words. <laughs> I mean, I learned a lot in Morocco. Lots of yeah, words, but, uh, word anything, but bad words, which which I'm not using here. I'll be very professional. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I I only say them now to Abdul. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Abdul. Yes, Abdul is my teacher. He's teaching me fantastic moral converse. Why do you say that? Then? Guys, I have to leave. Um, no problem. Okay. It was very nice hanging out with you ladies. That's what happens yeah. when you're married. Mm, yeah, I promised her we'd watch something and not uh, work all the night. So. Okay. okay, tell me what you're watching. Yeah. yeah, we have to go watch something. We've been working since the fucking morning. Love you, brothers, and uh, you see you next time. We do another one, but I'll be like, um, good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for joining me. Anytime I want, you both, motherfuckers. <laughs> Peace, Pache. Yeah. And may everything be well, my brothers. Bye bye. Ito. Bye bye. So, go on. Well, Bob. it has been one hour, 13 minutes. Uh, so um, this I I wasn't expecting it's going to take that long. <laughs> so let's just see what other else has come through. Hello, my conversion rate dropped from. Do you know anything about that conversion rate stuff? Do you want to answer that? Check your price. Hmm. But also what you should be doing, um, if you're seeing your conversion rate drop, probably swap out your um, your videos and use something else. They may be too um, used to what they're seeing on Facebook with your um, adverts. So swap it out with something new and see if it helps. Cool. Last one, last one, I'm going to answer. I've done multiple six figures using Stripe with uh, US LLC, but now whenever I add a new store, they ask for US employees, is the same case in UK or not? Uh, this is something they started a while ago, uh, especially in the United States. As you imagine, the only reason they do that, just to make sure you are a real company in the United States or you are a dropshipper. This is only the reason 
they would like to make the things a bit difficult for you to get this part. Um, I believe your accountant over there can help. I don't know your situation, but in UK, we don't have that situation. Every branch of your stripe, they ask different questions. Um, I, I don't remember to the people we help for the US, I know UK stripe account, they ask for the payroll, etc. Shopify payments, they ask sometimes, but Stripe doesn't ask. So we didn't experience that uh, problem in UK yet. Uh, they ask different questions, obviously, but no, we didn't see that. Da, da, da. I think that's it, Kevin. What do you think? Yeah, I think that's good. Um, do you want to just do a little bit of recap or something? Um, I don't know. I mean, do you want to... You check the questions. Is there any questions you missed? Or no, do you no, want no, to answer? No, 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 no. Um, we've got some um, things here. Let me just show you. Um, all I'm going to say to you guys is be careful out there. Um, speak yeah, to your supplier. Um, make sure they're using the correct um, couriers. Um, if you need any advice, um, feel free to reach out to me at Kevin Reed on Facebook, even if you're not using me, which I would prefer you do. <laughs> uh, and it doesn't matter. I'll do any, I'll do what I can to help you. Um, even if you send me some tracking that you've been sent by your supplier, I'll check it for you and just make sure you get, are getting the service that you deserve from whoever it is. So um, be safe, uh, wash your hands, and take care. Let's do some great business together, guys. All right? All okay. right, all right. Um, Kevin, thank you yeah. so much for tonight. You're welcome. And it was good fun. And it it was amazing. Yusuf joined us as well. We spoke Happy one hour, that. 17 minutes. More than one hour. Jennifer is waiting for me. I need to watch some movies with her as well. So, so, Guys. so is my, my food is downstairs. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure she's going to get angry. But anyways, Guys, it was great to catch up with you all the time. And yeah. any questions, as I always say, talk to lunches, customer support, talk to us. We are happy to help. Um, Yusef is always around. Kevin is always around. Even the same if you want us, go to droppipple.com and um, you can use our live chat there as well to speak to the team. Wonderful. Okay. Kevin, so, brother, thanks for joining me. You're welcome, sir. And I love you and look after yourself. You too, brother. I love you. Tell Jennifer I said hello. And Jeremy. Do that. Yes, we do the same. Yeah, we will do that. Same for Pam. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye-bye.